Hello and welcome back. Today I have a rather unique house to show you. This is a modern home that I built for a single lady and it even has a little guest apartment semi-attached to it, sort of like a little tiny house. This was a room by room build so it was a total surprise to me how it turned out but I do really love it and I can't wait to show it to you. If you're interested in seeing the tour and how I built the home, stick around because it's up next. absolutely love this house and I rarely say that about something that I just have sat and built. I'm working on a request currently but sometimes I like to take a break while I'm thinking about what I want to do with the request but I love it so much this house that I've even brought my sim self over here. I've given myself a little mini fall makeover with a new updo, some older jeans but just a turtleneck and a nice coat over top. So I've brought myself over here to give you this tour of this house. This was a room by room build as I mentioned before. And when I sit down sometimes on a board day just to build something like this and experiment, a lot of times building room by room, it just doesn't work out and it ends up being a tear down in the middle because I just get sort of frustrated with it. And if you've been with me a while, you know how I build, you know what room by room means. This is one that I'm just so happy about because it really did turn out. I love this house. This is a keeper, but I'm just sort of showing you the backyard right now. It has a double pool. It has a hot tub in the middle, and then there's a little structure here where you can just get some towels. So this is open here. You can just reach in and get your towels, or you can come through here. There's a wine fridge there along with a sink, and again, that's open to the hot tub and pool area. And then you just come in here to this area where the wine fridge and sink is. And there's a door back here that leads you into a small bathroom, which just has a shower and a toilet in it because there is a sink in the room beside of it. So that's the backyard there. And you can probably see already there's an open porch area down there that I've used as a gym. But you'll get a better look at that in just a minute. But this is the patio out here, a nice place to lounge and we'll continue around the house so you can sort of see the outside. Of course, I'm sure you can see the skylight there on the top that looks way down into that master bedroom. Can't wait to show you that. So this is the front here again. Very simple out here. I've made sort of a covered porch area and a double entryway right here. And then next door to that is the garage door. So I've used those little archways and put balcony over top of it. And then you'll see the entrance there to that little guest apartment, which we'll also take a look at. And then there's a staircase there. And there's a reason for that as well. So this is sort of, like I said, it's a little bit different than what I normally do, but there's also a lot of balconies here, which mainly I used as roof. So there's the staircase there. So we're gonna go in the front and we're going to come first into a living room. So this living area is separated from the rest of the house in a way, but you do just step out and around to the staircase to go up to the rest of the house. I love this living room. I love those doors. I know they're supposed to be kitchen doors, but it's the Sims and you can pretend. And I think they look beautiful in here with the black frame and that new black wallpaper that I did purchase online. So there's not too much going on in this room and that's pretty typical of me. I like to pick a few really nice items, whether they're old or new, and make a color scheme while I'm making the room. This is the first room that I made on the build. So I completely made this room first and decorated it and I chose this color scheme for the room. Now, when I do that, that does not necessarily mean that's going to be the color scheme for the rest of the house. And honestly, at that point, I had not made up my mind about a color scheme for the house. I designed the room, and then I came back here and wrapped this patio around to it and stopped right there. Even though I wasn't sure what was going to be there yet, I knew I wanted a patio out back, and I figured, if nothing else, I could just reshape it as I went along. So that's the living area there. Next door to that is the garage. I did build that next because I knew the driveway needed to be on that side. This originally was going to be a hallway, but I ended up making it the laundry area and just put open doorways. And then back here, 
I knew I wanted a covered porch back here that was going to be sort of attached to the back patio. At the end, I ended up wanting it to be a home gym that was exposed to the outdoors. So that's what I ended up using the covered porch for. And then next to that is a beautiful little, very simple white bathroom. I love this. It's of course very small, but I think it's very pretty. I use one of the new paper towel holders that we're just now getting from the Sims Chase. And that is really the first floor if you don't count the guest apartment. So very simple. It's sort of laid out like a townhouse. This you could put indoors or outdoors. I just chose to put it outdoors and make it pop up to a balcony. You could definitely just, again, make that a staircase room. You don't have to make that outdoors. I just did that to do something a little bit different. But you come up here and you come immediately into the dining area. So since I had made the living room in this color scheme, I decided to go ahead and bring up that wallpaper and then use one of the newer tables with some of the older, I think they're from the party event, chairs. And I just put a plant in the corner it's pretty much surrounded in glass on three sides. Two of them look outside with the big glass door and then the big windows. The other one looks into the kitchen. So you can just open that right up and be right there if you have guests and you want to be able to communicate with them. But if not, you can close it off and reduce the noise to the dining area, which I think is pretty neat. And I've done that in a few builds before. In here, I've continued the same color scheme. I used the new stove and sink, but I used the really old black cabinets and countertops. They have the stainless steel countertops, and you can see I sort of set in the stove there in an alcove. So a nice mix of very old and very new items in the kitchen. I really like it. It's just a tiny little kitchen, but again, this is just a townhouse with a single lady in mind. So here is a hallway that just contains a staircase that goes up to the third level, but this is the master suite. You know that wallpaper is growing on me. I've used it a few times recently, so I've used it on opposing accent walls for the master, and that made me want to use this bedroom suite. So just the black and gold, and then the black and gold dressers and end tables, and then I like this black and gold nursery chair with that set, and I've often used that and then we have the black and gold TV in the corner. So then coming in here to the ensuite bath, we have black and gold again. That looks really nice. I really like how that chalet sink looks with that behind it, that wallpaper, as well as this tub. I know that's rose gold and regular gold mixed, but I don't know if you noticed throughout the house, I have mixed a lot of different metallic colors. So in here is the toilet room and the shower room, just two little separate rooms. But again, with those mixing metals, I really like doing that on some builds, especially modern ones. And here's just a little walk-in closet. Because if you have regular gold, rose gold, and silver, don't be afraid to mix those. A lot of people think you shouldn't do that, but just be creative. You can mix all sorts of different metallic colors together and have them come out really nicely. So that was the master suite. We're gonna pop up here. This is a little weird. So you see this is open above the master suite here, and there's some paintings up there, and you see the windows, and I'll show you what room is back there in just a minute. I actually had this as a room all the way to almost the end of the build, because remember, I build room by room. But I decided to take the room out at the last second and make it open. So this actually had four sets of doors. I had two more sets on the other side that went into the other room, but when I decided to open it up, I thought this looked so much better. So I popped a window in there instead, and there's a door here that goes into an office. So you have that view into the master bedroom, because remember, it's just her who lives here. She also has a view to the backyard with the pools and the hot tub. Just a simple office here. Just a desk, one of the newer lamps, a plant in the corner, and again, you can see down into that master bedroom. She has a TV and some bookshelves in there. So just her office. I think that looks really pretty, and that is really all there is to the third floor. So the rest of it is technically balcony, but you've seen me do it several times. I like to just use that as roofing, sort of like a flat roof. And then we're going to be popping up next to the fourth floor so that I can show you how I made the skylight. I was just gonna leave this flat, 
but I decided to add this in and I'm really glad that I did. I think it looks beautiful and it just gives the home the look that it has all these different levels that it really technically doesn't have. It's just aesthetically pleasing from the outside. So let's go on down. We're just hopping down the levels here and we're gonna take a look at this guest apartment. So it's semi-detached from the house, as you can see, and you enter it by going through the door that's by the exterior staircase. This guest apartment does not have a bedroom in it. You would have to imagine this couch was maybe a futon, you know, a couch that lets out into a bed. So this serves as the little tiny bedroom and living room area. It's very small. Like I said before, it's like a little tiny house. So it has the TV, some cabinets there for storage, and just a little bit of decor and a place to sleep. And you come through this doorway here into the little kitchen. I think this kitchen is so cute. It really is functional. It has everything that they need. It has the coffee maker, has a fridge, a stove, a microwave, and you could even add something there under that cabinet as well. So that's the kitchen, and then you come through the other doorway here and you come into the little bathroom. It's a fully functioning three-piece bath. So that is the guest apartment. I wanted to add that on there because really the house needed something off to the side, and I thought I never do this and it would just be a great idea and a good addition to the property. And this could even be converted into an in-law suite or just a side rental, just an idea. But that is what the house looks like, and we're going to go to the grid here in just a minute, but I have to say again how happy I am that this room-by-room -room build turned out this way, and it definitely is going to be a keeper in my town. If you want to see how to build it, let's look at the grid. I started with the garage because of the driveway there. Then I went over and built on the living room, and I didn't go over to the right until toward the end. So this was going to be a hallway, but it ended up being the laundry area that walks through to this covered porch here. Then next was the bathroom in the corner. And then I went ahead and built up because the apartment was sort of an afterthought. I decided to just not build a staircase room there, which you could, but I built the stairs up onto a balcony and there's the dining room, which was next. And then I added on the little kitchen there and then there's a little alcove there, of course, for the stove. And then there's a staircase there because I knew I needed an extra floor above. Here's the master suite, the bathroom, and the closet for that. And when I say that I needed to add a floor above, remember the room, the space that's above the master bedroom, I was actually going to make that another bedroom. See, there's the landing, but I decided to open it up toward the end, and I'm really glad that I did because then it gave me the opportunity to add the skylight on the top, but I did want that office back there as well, and there's the measurement for the skylight slash mezzanine on the top there, which is very easy to do. You just use balcony for roofing if you want, and then just add a room and this make the whole thing a mezzanine. So that's how I built the house. Now we're going to come over and take a look at this little apartment here. There's the living slash bedroom, the kitchen, and the little bathroom for that. So that is how I built it. Here is a starting point right here from the left. You start over two and up 10 in case you want to recreate it. If you want to start from the right, you go over zero and up eight. So let's take a look at the furniture. There's the garage, just normal garage things. That's how I put the little laundry area in what was going to be a hallway. There's the covered porch, which I'm using as a home gym. There's the little bathroom. A better look at the patio area here. And then there's the living area right there. And then we come over here since we are on this level here and we will look at the guest apartment since I already showed you the grid in order we'll just go ahead and take a look at the furniture on this level so that's the guest apartment and you come up to the dining area next just give you a little overview here so you just pop up the stairs and we're going to look at the dining room you can see how I just wrap the balcony around and then there's the kitchen very cute, and the little stove area where I tucked the stove in, and there's that staircase there, and here is the master bedroom, 
in black and gold and it's en suite bath and the little toilet and shower rooms there and then it has a nice walk-in closet on the other side so then we're going to come up the stairs and you can see how I opened everything up use those big doors there on the right side that walk out to the balcony or over to the doorway that goes up to that office so that's how I did that and then here's the office here I just love this house and then of course that's open completely to the master bedroom below and then there's the skylight which is just a little bit smaller than that room now we're going to look at the pool house here it's just a little tiny you know area where you can get drinks grab your towels and use the restroom if you need to and you're outside so that was the measurements for that and there you go so let's take a look at it in night mode so you can see how pretty it looks all lit up at night I know it looks a little bit complicated and I hope from the grid you decide that it's not and you want to recreate the house but I try to keep the decor very simple the backyard is a little more than I usually do but I really do like it I like the pools and the hot tub in the middle I like the little pool house out back that I just think it looks so pretty lit up at night and this house could definitely be converted into a family home very easily you wouldn't even have to make it modern you wouldn't have to use all the balcony roofing it would actually make a pretty cool roof line if you used a traditional roof and you would not need to open up that master bedroom ceiling you could definitely use that as another bedroom upstairs and make this a very nice family home so i hope you've enjoyed the tour if you have please hit that like button i sure do appreciate it you guys take care thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time Music